<sighs> so it's Sunday morning. I wanted to uh, I wanted to recap some of the um, ideas, some of the theories. This uh, a little a lot of this is going to be a little bit of a theory. I want to just put some evidence on the record and then talk about the theory behind Cesar Sayoc also known as Caesar Rondazio, Rondazzo, okay. the Italian from Brooklyn, the bomber. Okay. So the spin is that he's, he's, a, he's a right winger. He's a, he's a guy who was living in a van in Florida and somehow he, he had this idea that he was going to send bombs to prominent Democrats. That's the story, right? And as it started to unfold, we saw some evidence that that actually happened, right? We saw panic at the CNN building. We didn't see panic anywhere else, really, right? But we saw some panic at the CNN building. So the idea that bombs are being sent through the mail is realistic. To date, the FBI has given us no evidence whatsoever that the guy that they have in custody is the guy who sent the bombs, right? We haven't heard from the guy. All we've seen so far is an image of the guy, right? A, a, a storyline where the guy is, you see him walking with police with handcuffs and they're walking him into an undisclosed location. Important, we have not heard from the, from the bomber and we haven't heard from a single witness that received the package. Nobody. No postal workers, no messengers, nobody at the, the great CNN. Okay? So what do we have in terms of evidence? Here's where I'm going to get into a little bit of a, a little bit of a prophecy, okay? And this is what I believe so far. So the guy is uh, has a has a prior has a prior record, right? That means in 2002 they had his fingerprints, right? They have his police record. They know who he is, right? And here he is on the side of the road down in Florida, fucking crazy ass, right? Fucking Trump shit all over the place, right? What better patsy? What better patsy than a guy with Trump stickers all over his van, living out of his van, right? What better patsy before an election? Again, you know, I'm, I'm, if, you, if you follow my channel, you know that I have no faith whatsoever in the electoral system. I believe it's rigged. Evidence is in the Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton race where we saw extremely convincing evidence and testimony in their own words that the elections are in fact rigged. So what, what we're seeing is manufactured consent for the Democrats who lost power to Trump in 2016 and their donors and the oligarchs desperately trying to get power back on into their side, right? Take it away from Trump's vision of the oligarchy, Trump's side of the oligarchy and their Republican counterparts and Democrats on the take. It's not just Republicans, it's, they're all the same. But that is the power play. And the only evidence, it's such a great patsy, Mr. Rondazio, right? Because here he is. It's like there's no evidence coming to the record. That's very, very revealing that the FBI is not telling us anything more about this guy or any, they're not providing any evidence whatsoever that puts him at the scene of any of this. All they have is a fingerprint and some DNA. Let's talk about that for a second. To get a fingerprint of somebody is, especially a guy living in a van in Florida, is easy to friend him. I mean, you can walk up to any desperate guy in New York and say, you know, can I, can I put you on camera? Can I buy, I'll buy you, I'll give you $5. Can you, can you hang out? I'll hang out with you for five, 10 minutes. Can, can you talk to me for a couple of minutes? I'll give you 20 bucks. Right? And you could easily make a friend of people who uh, are in need of a friend or in need of a couple of dollars. So getting close to a guy like Cesar 
Psyoc. <laughs> it's it's fairly easy, right? Now to get a, get a fingerprint, a, a live fingerprint of the guy is even more more easy, especially if you're professional. If you're professional, you know, law enforcement, you could get right next to the guy and and get him to touch a piece of tape, and you got his print, right? You can stick that on an envelope, easy. Very very easy to obtain, right? Framing is what I'm getting to. That it it now seems so unbelievable that they may have in fact framed this guy. Right? So what about DNA? Now, again, it's very easy to get DNA from somebody that's living in a truck. I don't know. I mean I don't want to be crude, but I mean you gotta take a shit, you gotta take you gotta go to the bathroom, right? All they gotta do is get close to the guy and grab his DNA out of you know from some kind of, you know, he, 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 you know, took a piss on the side of the truck or something, or, or he he had he drank a can of soda and threw a can of soda on the on the truck. Very easy to obtain if they see this guy as the perfect patsy, right? They drive by, oh shit, this guy's and he's crazy. Where is he? He's he's high. Sh Look at the videos. I put the videos up of him in the water. He's ah, oh, he's got monkey mind. He's racing. He's Strung out on steroids, strung out on something. I don't know. We, we're not going to ever know that. But historically, when events like this happen, the FBI comes right out and gives us the goods. They tell us, well, yeah, there's a, uh, the packages were dropped here and they went through the mail and, and, um, and so on, right? And, and uh, CNN would certainly have put out a picture of him walking somewhere. Right? There would have been, there's nothing so far, which, and before an election, which leads one to believe that the objective behind the Patsy is to swing an election in favor of, I guess, what we're calling the Democrats, right? Because, again, 535, right? 435 House of Representatives and 100 Senators. Very, very, it's the, it's the levers of power in our country. Wake up. That's what this is about. Right? Manufacturing consent to control the levers of power. All 435 Senate, uh, House of Representatives seats are up for grabs. And I think all but 35 Senate seats are up for grabs. What's going to happen? You know, it's, it doesn't matter who wins, Republicans versus Democrats. It's the same. Like I've said before, if... If it shifts right, it's already right. If it shifts further right, then the oligarchy and the donors keep their money right where it is. If it should by chance shift left, which I don't believe it will, then the oligarchy will take the money off of those horses and on the Republican side and put the money on the Democrat side because they're all for sale, right? All the House and all, all, these, all these politicians are for sale. That's what the battle is about. It's about, the, it's about the levers of power, right? Manufacturing consent to steal a fake election. Great way to do it is, is, is to smear Trump, right? Because Trump's got momentum. Trump's the big man on the, on the, you know, on the tank. Right? And they find this patsy, this poor guy. It's looking like he's a poor ass... Dumbass guy in the wrong place at the wrong time. We need to hear from him. They say he gave a confession. I want to see the video. I don't believe it. He gave a confession? Really? Where's the video? Where's the witnesses to the, to the confession? I don't believe it. All you have is a piece of tape with a fingerprint. That's easy. A little DNA. Oh, so sophisticated. Oh, we got his DNA. Well, it, that's easy too. Right? Guy blows his nose. His nose is running. He's maybe got a little blood on his nose. Throws it out. He's living in a van. Easy to get. Very easy. So, in terms of a setup, that's what it looks like, right? Obtaining the evidence that they have they said. Now, is this a a right-wing conspiracy? No, I'm not. I'm a fucking Bernie. I voted for Bernie Sanders. Go on the record. I voted for Bernie Sanders, and when the Democrats stole the election from Bernie Sanders with overwhelming evidence, 
I voted for the Green Party because I believe in the platform, Green New Deal. Now, we can, that's not what I'm here to talk about, politics. That's, that's for me. I fundamentally disagree with this president, this elected president, who I respect for his election, and the fact that he's a New Yorker and all those great things, right? And the fact that he calls out the fake news media for what it is. I fundamentally disagree on his economic policy, that he supports a theory of trickle-down economics that fails people miserably. It fails regular people and benefits the oligarchy, the 1% minority in this minority in this country that have so much power and so much wealth right this this grotesque level of income and wealth inequality that's why i i i don't support trump in terms of an actual you know vote that really doesn't matter anyway because it's it's a rig so just i just wanted to put that on the record that i'm not you can't call me a right winger or a this theory is not coming from the right or or from the make America great again crowd at all. I just told you who I was, who, who I am, right, and what I what, what my politics are, and that I'm a candidate for the United States Senate. And if if elected, that's exactly my my voice will continue to be exactly like that. But the 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 very corrupt money grabbers on both sides of the aisle, as we say. Take money from the same people. The same donors are supplying them with money. But a lot of the deep, what we like to call the deep state, is still very much, very much from the Democratic side of the aisle. From Obama, John Brannon, CIA director, right? These guys, these people are very corrupt and they don't want to give up the power. They, don't, they want things to stay exactly a, a, as it is, right? So they're still there. And because of the money in politics moving up and down sideways, it's very hard to get rid of them because the president himself doesn't have a, enough power to even get rid of a guy like, you know, to control the FBI and the CIA. They're out of control, right? The courts take money. The, 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 the congressmen take money. There's no more separation of power. There's no more constitution of the United States of America. It's the constitution of the corporations. They're above the three level levers of power, executive, legislative, and judicial. The money is controlling the game, right? Know that. That's very important. Know that. That's not right wing, left wing, you know, and the stock market holds the answer. Ten banks finance all of the all of the Judicial, judicial decisions, all the, the legislative decisions, they're, they're, they're giving money to the, to, the, to the CIA and the FBI and all. That's who's funding the whole thing, the banks, right? So, so again, Patsy, just to, just to wrap it up, I know I went a little too far, but it, uh, over, but the Patsy... Is a is is a, is designed to distract you from what I just told you. That's the whole thing. Eighty percent of the people think it's about it's about race, it's about Jew hating, it's about blacks versus white, it's about you know gay versus straight, women versus men. <laughs> Anything but the fact that it's it's rich versus poor. That's the fact. That's the overwhelming fact, income and wealth inequality, and that the corporately owned media promotes the narrative of hate and fear. And, it, it, and they use the, the corporate media, they use their media, the oligarchy uses the media to promote that, that hate, that fear, that division. Right? See, we're all on Jones's farm, animal farm, that we're all on the same farm. We're all in the same plantation together, right? And it's the pigs that are controlling the board, right? Cesar Sayak is a, is a is a, is a, is a total total patsy, total patsy. Show us the evidence. Give us the evidence. I'm not even, I don't even want to talk about the Pittsburgh shooting guy, synagogue shooter. That's another story. Let's stay where we are. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this guy. Show us the evidence 
that this guy did what you said he did. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.